The Deputy Prime Minister Warren Trump has indicated that the government wants to lift foreign ownership on restrictions on Qantas. The airlines asked for government help, including either changes to the Qantas Sale Act or a guarantee on its debt. At the moment, Qantas can't be more than 49% foreign owned. We have indicated an interest in being prepared to, to seek to legislate, to take, take away the legislative and, and government imposed disadvantages that Qantas, is, Qantas face, uh, faces on the domestic market. And uh, as has already been reported, uh, we're working on legislation uh, to, to achieve that. The government will make a final decision after the Qantas profit results are released on Thursday. The Transport Workers Union has weighed in on mounting speculation about mass job cuts at Qantas. For days there have been conflicting reports on the exact number of losses expected to be announced this week. Qantas is expected to make an announcement this Thursday about jobs. What's not clear is just how many will go. It comes after late last year the airline announced that they'd be making $2 billion worth of savings and a thousand job cuts to go along with that. Uh, in the last few days we've been hearing a range of reports about just how many jobs will be going. We've been hearing 3,000, uh, we've been hearing 5,000. That's obviously a lot more than what Qantas was initially flagging. The Transport Workers Union, which represents about 5,500 Qantas workers, doesn't have any certainty yet about just how many jobs will go, but they say they're worried that Qantas has been in secret talks with the Treasurer Joe Hockey, and that, that means that federal funding to prop up the airline will be contingent on massive job losses. You've been having discussions, Joe Hockey, with Alan Joyce. You've, under, you've funded and encouraged the exporting of these jobs. Come clean with the Australian public and tell us where our jobs are being taken away from us. Qantas is expected to reveal fuller details of its restructure at its profit announcement on Thursday.